How is it going out there, everybody? This is Speedboy14 on my playthrough of Super Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate it big time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out. Exciting feature of the channel, you can request your favorite um, moon or your favorite kingdom in the game in the comments below. Also, let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. Um, I'd really like to know for a question of the video. Um, what is um, your favorite world from your favorite world slash galaxy slash kingdom slash course from any of the 30 Mario games? I'd really love to know. If I had to pick my favorite area from any 30 Mario game, probably the Freeze Flame Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy, but I also like Noki Bay from Super Mario Sunshine. And I also like the Cosmic Coke Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 2. And I also like the Metro Kingdom from this game. Okay, so the Bowser statues are facing the opposite way of the others. That's the one you want to throw Cappy on if you want to get a moon. You can tell because it breathes fire when you throw Cappy on it. And there we go. Out on the iron fence. I love the music here. Listen to this music. Isn't it epic or what? It is so epic in so many ways. It's just so epic. This sort of reminds me of the Melty Molten Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy. I love Melty Molten Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy. That's another one of my favorite video game levels ever in, in, in any game. Because it's just amazing. I also really like um, the Shiver Burn Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 2. That one's just amazing, like it is. I also like the Sweet Mystery Galaxy from Galaxy 2. There's lots of amazing ones I really like. There's lots of them I like. And I really like Bob on Battlefield from Mario 64. So here you just have to be careful and we have to use Pokio and with Pokio we can poke the wall in order to hang on to the wall and then we have to use the control stick to move up. Pretty cool power up. I really like this power up. Behind the big wall. Once again I'll just collect as many of these moves as I can. Excuse me. Off to the next area. Those things where you throw Cappy on this and then use electricity like that reminds me of the Launch Star from the Super Mario Galaxy games. Like it really does. If you have not watched my playthroughs I did of the Galaxy games, you should definitely watch them. Those were a, a lot of fun. I love the Galaxy games so much. The Galaxy games are my top two Mario games. We'll see if Super Mario Bros. Wonder manages to, to surpass those when it comes out. I can't wait for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I bet that game's gonna be amazing. I bet that game's gonna be one of the best Mario games and video games I've ever played once it comes out. Because I can't wait for Mario Wonder to come out. Super Mario Bros. Wonder is gonna be amazing. Let's grab our moon. Let's dive into it. There we go. So I believe there's probably a moon here I can collect. There might be, but we can look. Those purple coins. Let's get some purple coins. Yeah. I 
I don't really see any moons. Oh, I know a moon I can get right here if I use Pokio. I love Pokio so much. <laughs> Have you ever watched that cartoon called Pinocchio? This thing, Pokio reminds me of Pinocchio because of that big nose. Pinocchio um, almost rhymes with Pokio. Kind of cool. This is called Pokio, so it kind of says it reminds me of Pinocchio. Have you ever watched that cartoon called Pinocchio where he lies a lot and his nose grows for every lie he says? I wonder if you guys have ever watched that or not. I've never watched that, but I've seen it and I've heard about it. It's so cool. And it's so funny, too. I would really like to watch it sometime. Where his nose will grow for every lie he says. <laughs> That's what the Pokio power-up really reminds me of, is Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> so, I really like Pokio. It's one of my favorite power ups in Super Mario Odyssey. Um, once again, it reminds me of Pinocchio, the one that would lie a lot on the cartoon, and, and that the one that his nose would grow for every lie he said. And that was. A funny show. I, I would like to watch that show sometime. <laughs> so, um, have you guys ever watched Pinocchio? Let me know down in the comments below if you watched it or not. I would love to know. Every time I think of the Pokio power-up in this game, which is the one that you possess with Cappy, it reminds me of Pinocchio. I don't know why. I guess because they both rhyme, and because he has a long nose like that, and I'm assuming that Pokio must have been like Pinocchio and lied a lot, and his nose was growing for every lie he said. Kind of like Pinocchio. Okay. I'm, I'm just checking to see if there's any moons around here. There's not. Maybe there is if I go this way. I see a moon, it's right here. Alright, I'll try to make my videos pretty long throughout this playthrough, like I said, I don't want them to be too short. I just want them to be nice and long, just at a good, long, lengthy video. Alright, let's go on to the next section. We can actually buy a power moon from here if we go in the souvenir shop. Let's buy, let's buy a moon. Alright, we collected 10 moons already. I know if you go around here, there's something else you can see. I don't know if you possess one of these guys right here. You can actually use it to get to the moon down here. And then you have to move this guy to right here. Which he has to face that way. And there we go. Underground Jizzo. Didn't know that was actually a thing until I saw it on the game. I think Mario Wonder will have cool power-ups, it looks like. Let's look around here to see if we can see any more moons. I'm just looking. 
Because we can take our time and explore. We can explore and take our time. That's what I love about the 3D Mario games. I just love that. They have a good terrain of environments. That's what I love about these games. That you have fluid controls over Mario. Alright. Let's fight the Brutals. The two remaining Brutals left are, are the one... Topper kind of reminds me of St. Patrick's Day almost. He almost does because of that green hat. So he's a little bit more difficult this time than it was before. That's still not too difficult. You just have to hit him like that and you have to knock his hat away. And then just do that. And he gets a higher hat, tower of hat. Just knock him down. And then that's it. Pretty easy. This ain't too hard. Ain't too hard. And there we go. Still pretty easy boss. We can collect that heart over there so we can get more health back. And now we're gonna verse um, the other brutal that we haven't fought since Sand Kingdom. I like this one. I think she's a cute looking girl. Okay, so she throws bombs at us and we know what we have to do here. We to, it makes it a little more challenging than it was before, but still pretty easy. You just toss it back at her. And then as soon as we see the bomb underneath her like that, we can hit it and go, make it go back up to her. We was a little late with it, that's fine. I know some speedrunning tricks for a lot of the burgles in this, for all the burgles in this game. The burgles somewhat remind me of the Kooklings from the new Super Mario Bros. game. go. Come on, dive into the moon. Alright, the showdown at Bowser's Castle. Here we go. Excuse me. I don't see any moves there. I really don't see any here, but there might be some up here. Okay. I thought I would collect some extra moves just because I don't want the video to be short, but also I want it to be somewhat long. Alright, so let's go here. Where does this go? I don't think I've ever gotten this moon before. I had no idea that was even a moon that you can possibly get. All 
Alright. So we can go here. And there's a moon here we can get. Alright. Look at this. Look at the under I love the underwater section of this. It just looks so awesome. We're gonna use Pinocchio again. Or at least Tokyo, the guy that looks like Pinocchio. That has a nose very similar to Pinocchio. So we're just gonna be careful. Just go up here. There we go, so watch out for these bombs right here. So just do this, do that, do that, do that. Pretty easy. Okay, come here. Come here! Break open this. <laughs> if we're staying right here, then we poke the, the core, the part where it has the coins, you can get rid of him. I don't see any moves there. Um, we got the moves. I just need to mark a way through. Okay. So we ride this. Let's go here. Just coins? I thought it'd be a power moon or something. I don't even know every power moon in this game, but I swear, I don't even know every power moon in this game. Alright, so let's shake our controller here. Is there really anything we can do right here? We don't need Pokeo anymore, I do know that. There might still be stuff we can do, but but we might deal with that when we get to the post game stuff. All right.
All right, here we go to the boss of Bowser's Kingdom. Basically, what you gotta do here is you gotta, um, Pokio will come out. So what you gotta do is um, you gotta possess po Pokio and then use him to attack the bombs toward the legs. It's pretty easy, so you just gotta do this. You only have to do it for one of the legs. Dang it, are you serious? How can I not aim properly? Okay, so what you gotta do, and then once you flip him over, you just gotta use Pokio to climb him up, and then you just gotta use Pokio to poke Selino up where the brutal is. You just repeat that five times, that's all you gotta do. To get all five brutals out of here. And now, he gets a little bit more aggressive as he goes on. He reminds me of that one boss from Donkey Kong Country Returns. That's called uh, Feather Fiend. I, I don't know what the enemy's name is, but that's what he really reminds me of. That boss from Donkey Kong Country Returns that was in World 7. Here, because he's somewhat similar to that. Okay, so after it. It's either four or five, how many brutal get to knock down. I believe it's four. Now he has those Starman legs, so watch out for him. But he's gonna bump into those. So just keep moving when he does this. Okay, so now he's gonna do this move right here where the have these um you have these things, which are these I don't know what these things are called. You can either poke them with Pokio in order to get rid of them, or you can have the robot destroy them, like I said. And then you just gotta knock down one of the legs, and then once again, you have to climb him in order to get, oh my gosh, in order to get to one of the Brutals, and then knock down the Brutal with using Pokio. And just repeat the same thing one more time. Actually, it is four Brutals, how many? how many you have to knock down. I, at first I thought it was five, but once again, just poke at these to get rid of them. Or you could have the robot step on them whatever you prefer to do. It gets a lot faster as he goes on. So you gotta use the bombs by poking them with Pokio. And then once he flips over like that. Are you kidding me? Come on, let me climb. Let me climb. You gotta climb a Pokio, and then once you get here, just keep poking at it. Just like that. Alright, now we get a multi moon, so let's dive into it. Just to make the video a little long. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a little bit of extra. Not a lot of extra, but just a little bit of extra in Bowser's Kingdom. Just of some of the stuff that already appeared. If you go inside this pipe, it takes you a shortcut to over here. What extra stuff appeared that we can do? Alright, so we can go in here. Oh, this is cool. Um, 
Let's collect our moon. Bowser's kingdom has been a really epic kingdom. Alright. collected 20 moons already. Isn't that good? I believe there's a moon that requires Pokio here. Oh, spinies! I hate those spinies. They're so annoying. We can get Pokio then use it to climb up to collect another moon. Okay, so let's just do that. We can use it to climb up. All those rabbits here, we can chase. Let's try to catch one of these rabbits. Because you can get a million by doing that. The easiest way to catch these rabbits is rapidly throw Cappy. That's how I've always done it. They're harder to catch in this game than they are in Super Mario Galaxy. Um, because they were really easy to catch in Super Mario Galaxy for the most part, at least. I guess some of them were hard to catch, but for the most part, they were easy to catch. In this game, they're harder to catch. Because they move a lot faster in this game. Catching them in Super Mario 64 was ridiculous. Okay, we caught one rabbit and we just get one coin. So let's try the other one. Okay. Oh my gosh. Ah! They move so fast and they're so unpredictable, so it's hard to know where they're going. Come on. Rabbit, come here, you butthole. Get your butt over here. Get your butt over here. Thank you. There we go. We can go here. And we have some moons in here we can collect. Okay, so... Mm. 
Alright, so we have to use this guy in order to, um... In order to go wherever way. Take this one and go here. There we go. We need to take the other one. And then go this way. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's all you gotta do. That was a big adventure. I didn't know those things were called Jizzos until I just learned recently. Now, we're gonna go ahead and do um, this right here. Should be easy. I know it is. Bowser's Kingdom Timer Challenge 1. We have enough moons now, so we're gonna go back. All right. All right. We can flip, flip that switch to open up that gate to keep it open for it to keep this one open for it. There we go. We collected 24 moons in Bowser's Kingdom. Isn't that amazing or what? Let's spend them right here. Whew! Moon Kingdom is on the horizon. I'm so excited about that. The Odyssey is complete. And we have big stuff coming up after we finish the Moon Kingdom. After we finish the Moon Kingdom, we will have post-game stuff. That will be several parts, I can assure you. I'll try to get as much done as I can in, one, in each video, but it'll be several parts, I can assure you. Let's open up the Moon Kingdom right now.
Oh my gosh. Guess what? We're at the Moon Kingdom. Our objective here is Bowser's Moon Wedding. Where we can put an end to this wedding and save Princess Peach. Excuse me. I'm not gonna read any text dialogues right there because they just take too long to read. Excuse me. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to, do, to click that subscribe button. And click on the bell right beside it. Be notified every time my new videos come out. And have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Speed Boy.